Hey guys, today we're going to be learning about a pretty bizarre principle of quantum mechanics, and that is the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Now, the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle states that the more precisely the position of a particle is known, the less precisely its momentum will be known, and vice versa. Now, this seems really bizarre, but we can't think about it in terms of everyday objects. We have to think about it in terms of the really, really tiny subatomic particles like protons or electrons. Now, the equation for the uncertainty principle is delta x, or the uncertainty in momentum, times delta p, or the uncertainty of position, is greater than or equal to h divided by 4 pi where h is Planck's constant, and Planck's constant itself doesn't really matter. All we need to know is that it's constant, meaning it never changes, and that it's a really tiny number, something that we don't really come across in our everyday lives, but we do in this demonstration. Here I have a laser beam projected onto this white sheet. Now using these blades, I can restrict the position of the photons that make up the beam. And as expected, the beam just gets narrower. But, if we continue to restrict this beam more and more, we notice something that's really quite bizarre. After a certain point, the beam starts to get longer and longer, even as the position is restricted more and more. Now this is happening because we've reached that limit, as seen in the equation. As we make the beam narrower and narrower, we decrease the uncertainty in position, as the photons can only go in a very small area. Now this is fine, as long as delta x times delta p is still greater than Planck's constant. But, we get to a certain point where the projected laser gets wider and wider, even as the beam becomes narrower. And this is happening because we've reached that limit. As the uncertainty in position is decreasing more and more, the uncertainty in momentum must increase more and more to still be greater than Planck's constant. Since momentum is mass times velocity, as the uncertainty in momentum increases, the uncertainty in velocity does too. And velocity is the direction that the photons are traveling. So there's a more uncertain and it goes in a further range. And that is why that beam is spreading out. So now we know that the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is real, but it just seems like some sort of crazy thought experiment, not something that could really come in handy and be practical, but that's not the case. Now we can use the uncertainty principle to disprove the Bohr model of an atom. So in this diagram of a hydrogen atom right here, we can see that the radius of the electron is 5.3 times 10 to the negative 11 meters. In addition to the radius, we also know the velocity and mass, or the momentum, of the electron, and thus its uncertainty in momentum. Since we know its uncertainty in momentum, we can calculate its uncertainty in position. Now, if we plug in the momentum of the atom with a 10% uncertainty, we can get a minimum uncertainty in position of 2.6 times 10 to the negative 10, which is more than double the radius of the electron. Now, this is a very bizarre finding because the Bohr model looks like there's various energy levels that the electron just goes around, but this shows that it's not as simple as that. So while the Bohr model may come in handy for drawing electron diagrams at school, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle shows that the orbits of electrons aren't as simple as just a circle. But the Bohr model will still never be fully replaced by the electron cloud model. Our brains just aren't wired to think of things so abstractly. We like to think things simply, as our world applies, but the quantum world is so different from our world, and I think that's why it's so interesting. It may not be the most practical thing ever, but it's always interesting to stretch out of your comfort zone and think of things that are happening on a whole new level everywhere. And I think that's pretty amazing. Thank you.